I don't think there's a MIDI controller on the market that is more iconic than the MPK Mini. I've owned and reviewed just about every one of these that have been on the market, from the OG MPK Mini to the MPK Mini 3 and even the MK Mini Play. This is the MPK Mini Plus, which promises to give us a better experience on the MPK series of controllers. They've added in several new features that I'm excited to get into on this video. So first off, let's get this out of the way. They got 37 keys on this bad boy. And they feel really, really good. These are those MPK keys that we've been used to feeling on all of these models since the MK3. I feel like this is an MPK that I can actually finally play because all of the MPKs before this have, you know, had 25 keys. And as a guy that has big hands and I really like to play play, this gives me something to really work with and play around with. I feel like I could really produce because I can play full chords and I don't have to feel like I'm being limited by just having 25 keys. I can play pretty much whatever I want to play. Now, a couple of other things besides the keys that I think is game changing with this is that they added in a full pitch bend and mod wheel, which is really, really dope. And you still have the joystick uh, for modulation and being able to really be expressive with your playing, which is really, really cool. Mainly because all of these mini MIDI controllers that are coming out right now are moving away from the, the pitch being in my will and giving you like those little sliders. And you guys know how I feel about that if you've been watching my videos for a while. Now, the other game changing feature is they have a transport control area here, which is a much needed feature I've been asking for for years. And uh, they also have a built in sequencer into this thing, which is another thing that's really really, really dope about it. So I don't really get into the whole sequencing using external instruments and CV gates and all of those things like that, but this has this in there. So if that's your bag, this is something that you definitely want to invest in. Now, as far as in and out is concerned, they're giving you the sustain pedal jack and they're giving you regular MIDI in and MIDI out, and you got the CV gate and all of those things like that. Now your pads are as the expected, the NPC pads, which feel real good and are very responsive as always. It's the same pads that we've been enjoying for years. Now, as far as software is concerned, you're getting the same MPC beat software hybrid and uh, you're getting the expansion packs and all of those different things like that that come with the MPC stuff. So as far as software is concerned, you're not really getting anything new or different for getting this version. It still comes with all the same software that all of the MPK series boards come with. So of course they threw in like the scale mode and the chord mode and the full level and note repeat and all of those other functions that you would expect to have in the MPK series. So with all of these features and everything that they're throwing in at 169 bucks, I think this is totally worth it. And this makes this the MIDI controller to beat. Now, if you're interested in what I think about the previous uh, MPK that they dropped or any of the other MPKs, make sure you check out this playlist over here and I'll talk to you guys over there. I'm out. Holla at your boy.